All right, I'm back with another little TIG tip. Today we're talking collets. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about collets and the two different kinds. Now, this definitely falls in the category of personal preference. Um, it's not a huge advantage between the two of them, I don't think. Uh, I do specifically like the wedge collet versus the standard kind of collets, and I'll show you why. So, let's look at a standard TIG torch. You've got the cup itself, and these come in all kinds of different sizes and shapes and looks. This particular one is the FUPA 12 by Furic. And then you have the back cap. So back cap. And then inside the torch body you have the collet and the tungsten. So this collet just slides right off. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this collet actually has uh, a slit in it on both sides, right through there. Basically what happens, there's the other side there. Basically what happens is as this thing goes in to this gas lens um, and you, you tight, tighten the back section, the back cap on this thing, it basically compresses or, or squeezes that, that collet inside of there, causing it to squeeze down on the tungsten itself. So kind of a no brainer. If you've ever messed with a TIG torch, you get the idea of how that works. So this here is what they call a wedge collet. It doesn't have those slits and the hole, the orifice on it, doesn't change in size. It stays the same all the time way that it actually holds the tungsten is it's kind of tapered on the end and as that thing goes inside there as it's pressed inside of there it kind of just wedges itself sideways uh, holding the tungsten that way now why does this matter why is one better than the other or why do I prefer one over the other so what you'll find is over time these kind of collets, the standard style with the slits, the more you kind of tighten them and loosen them in there, they get this twist. You see that twist in that line? It's not supposed to be like that. Uh, they're normally straight. So what happens at, is over time, as you, you're putting this thing in and out all the time, it develops a tightness that is not natural and you can't really see it and you can't feel it, but this thing is hard to slide over this tungsten. And so what happens is if once this thing's in your torch, say you kind of uh, mess the end of the tungsten up a little bit or it's not sharpened 100%, kind of like this is here. I don't know if you can see that. If you do the double-ended sharpening method, as you pull this thing out and try to slide it back in the other side, you're gonna have a real hard time getting that thing back through this collet. Even if the back cap is totally off, there's no pressure on it. It's gonna be a little bit tough. Sometimes they're tough to get out. They just, uh, they kind of give you fits a little bit. And so what I like to do is use these here. This is a wedge collet, like I said and it slides very easily and because this orifice on this thing doesn't get smaller or larger it's not designed to get smaller or larger you never have any issues with flipping this thing around and sliding it back through so we kind of show you how that works so tungsten's in there i'm welding this gets dull or I kind of mess it up a little bit. A little turn, this thing slides right out. Right back in, no problem. We'll tighten and she's, uh, she's hung, she's not going anywhere. 
So not a big thing, but you know, when you're out here welding for hours on end and you're, you're changing a lot of these tungstens out, you're having to sharpen a lot, um, that little thing can make a large difference as far as just aggravation in itself. Uh, I run into a lot where these, these things kind of give me some trouble. I mean, they work. They work great. There's actually not a huge, huge issue in it. But, um, you know, when it's time to buy some new collets when they're all wore out and you need some new ones, I guess I might want to just consider these uh, wedge collets. So there you go. Not like some huge, huge how-to, some huge tip, but uh, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that aren't familiar with these. Figured I'd open your eyes to it if you're not. Um, like I said, may save you a little bit of trouble, a little bit of heartache. You can give them a try. These particular ones are from CK. I just got them on Amazon. I'll drop you guys a link in the description. And there you go. A little quick TIG tip for you. Tomorrow, Ibster. Mm -hmm.